welcome to the show, Soul Bunny. We, it's been a while since we last talked, um, but it's good to talk with you again. Um, I, I, I assume you saw most of my react. Yeah, I saw most of it. I actually, you know, I'll say this. I actually, interesting, I was watching your Joe Lewis video like this morning when I was mm -hmm. making breakfast, so. Oh, yeah, I had um, a really I had no idea. Yeah, it was a really good conversation, actually, yeah. yeah. Joe and I go way back. Joe and I used to do the, the debate circuit together <laughs> way back uh, The hippy dippy chat. Hippy uh, dippy and all like, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, uh, I, I really like Joe, and I was really happy that I got to sit down and talk with him about a lot of stuff, and. Also, you know, give him a chance to, to I think his, I think his uh, GoFundMe succeeded, which is awesome to hear. I like Joe a lot. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, me too. Joe's, uh, I think it's because, like, I'm younger than Joe, but, like, I feel like he, because he, he's, I feel like he's, like, at a, that mature age where he's going to have a different perspective, I feel, or a take, like, or pro, I would say approach, I'd say approach. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. hopefully. And I'm not saying everyone his age takes the same approach, but, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Joe is Joe's always been, in my opinion, he's always been fairly level-headed, and uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. I he's he's made some people mad at times, but you know, haven't we all? So yeah, yeah. yeah that's kind of... So um, yeah, I guess uh, I know you. I know you expressed in chat that you didn't really want to like uh, you didn't really want to like defend the whole video. I I honestly. F I felt pretty poorly about this video. Um, oh yeah, I saw, uh, and I said yeah. like, you know, you you have every right to f have your opinion, like, and yeah. Like, I, I, I just I, like... I I get a little tired, you know, of of. You know, it's not just like people sometimes euphemize it as like ah leftist infighting, but it honestly it goes more than that. It's the it's the. It's the stuff that goes beyond. Like infighting is going to happen. People have differing opinions on all kinds of topics. You know, um, even within like the same, the same ideological quadrants or whatever. You know, like anarchists mm -hmm. disagree with all about all kinds of stuff. God knows the MLs can't agree with each other. They purge each other all the time. Um, mm -hmm. Like so, it's normal to have a certain amount of infighting, and I think that that's like actually healthy when when you know people have ideological differences but i really think that sometimes this shit goes way too far and not just that but that a lot of stuff just gets uh i have a huge problem with people like overstating harm um and and i feel like that's something that happens all the time especially with keffels like i get it like people have a lot of reasons to to like dislike keffels and that's one thing but i i feel like I don't know. I, I it's tiring. It's exhausting. It's exhausting to see, especially when I see like people that I otherwise respect or that I have some level of respect for. Or I respect the stuff that they do, engaging in like I don't know, like putting blinders on. It seems in order to like mm -hmm. to find a reason to justify being really really harsh to somebody when they could just say I think someone I think X person is a fucking idiot. Like I, I don't know. I guess I don't feel I don't understand I'll, the need to turn to turn so many struggles into like a political not even a political struggle. That's not even right. But to like try and find like some sort of moral failing that has to go above and beyond and like speaks to somebody on like a deep level instead of just being like I I think that Keffels is abrasive and in, inconsiderate. Which I I would have I obviously have no problem with people saying something like that. Obviously, I don't care. Um, I'm not like the. I would say like even for example, like I saw someone today like uh, people are defending this black guy saying he wished wishes death on Keffels and they were defending it. They were defending him because of how Keffels responded to that. And I'm like, that is not the hill I would die on. That's actually so cringe. It yeah. was so cringe to see that because obviously like even though like I would say like even though I'm you know. I'm pretty sure you saw but I am sort of involved in the current discourse. Uh, I, I know I there was say... a video you made, uh, you know, about Shark, which I mean, I'm, I yeah. don't know if you saw. I don't know if you saw my. Um, I saw your. your you your probably response. did, and I will say, yeah, and I'll say this. Um, I did not. So I, I see why it. You and other folks would see it as like me using your clip as you endorsing that statement but that's not what, what was like the the goal or even the way i i intentionally did. so i won't won't deny like i can see how you how it would come off that way for like other folks but and you but uh it was more like me showcasing that like you were calling out 
that behavior in the space. Not necessarily, I personally just like was showing an example, like lining up your audio of calling it out. And yeah. I could see how, like, like so I'm saying, like, so it wasn't like me trying to say, well, Demon Mama is calling out Shark. No, because you didn't, you never named names in that, enti that entire thing in that moment. Yeah. Like, you, you just said that. This is misinfo, and that's not cool. Yeah, and um, I mean, well, yeah, I, so. I, I, didn't, I didn't assume uh, that, that you had done it intentionally or anything like that. Um, I, I think in my first response, I hope that that came, came out clear. That I, I mean, I, I, I felt the need to clarify because so many people messaged me that I was in that video, and I wanted to be clear that I'm like, because I, I just, I don't, I'm gonna be completely honest. Like, like, I've been open about this. I don't think that the way that most people talk about Shark is, is particularly cool. But I'm also like, I'm not like the police of, of content. Um, if there's something that sticks out to me, like this video, I've been seeing it talked about for the last week or whatever. It's been nine days since the video came out and it's been on every timeline. It's been all over discords, it's been everywhere. And so I'm like, all right, I guess I gotta look into this because it's been everybody talking about it. But um, you know, I try not to like police everybody's interactions with one another, um, especially when it's like- I can say that. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I don't want to cut you off. Sorry. Oh, uh, I was just going to say, especially when like it's a topic that's like, you know, talking about the the sea slur, like, um, mm -hmm. and the way that that's used, like, in between, uh, you know, black people. Like, that's not like, what am I supposed to say about that? You know what I mean? Like, I don't mm -hmm. know what the fuck I'm supposed to say about that outside of me thinking, me saying, like, on a comparative level, I don't, I don't think like. Like, I, I think that sounds harsh to me. <laughs> like, but yeah. what am I supposed to do? I don't have a commentary on the inter-community discourse. Like, I mean, fuck, like, there's all kinds of things I could talk about that are, you know, relevant to, to groups that I belong to. Like how, I mean, I did a video on the Arsler and wh why I think that some people claim that they're reclaiming it when they're not actually, they're just using it to be an asshole to somebody else. Um, and I do think that those generally apply, and I guess I apply that to most things. Like, I don't go around calling, I am definitely, you know, I'm definitely a faggot. You know what I mean? But I don't go around calling mm -hmm. other people that. <laughs> no, and, no. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I get that. Um, I'll say this. Um, so there's this, like, with the shark thing, um, I feel on both sides. People, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I mean, my video... I made a tiny segment because it was such a, it was a very short part on Shark. It was a very short part. Yeah. Well, on pretty both harsh. sides, people, um, and yeah, and yeah. I can stand on my own words. Um, but what I will say is on both sides, because I, I just, I, at the time it was only like a 3K sub channel. Um, both sides escalated the situation extremely and it just got really intense and it was just like, I, do you like they, like I, like this is like me saying this like myself right now but like it like i mean on both i'm not like i'm literally saying on both sides so like it yeah. was literally like i mean don't even, you, do you don't you think people went pretty hard on shark like even if you just like well, that's what don't i'm you trying feel to like say people are a little like like, like well that's I don't what i'm know. trying to say that i'm on what? both sides like there was what? things that like i don't even personally endorse that people were doing the most some people were really doing the most and i had to tell like per people personally like per, uh, a creator uh, and I won't say the name, but it was like, I'm like, hey, like that was kind of intense. And I'm also getting blamed for that. And it's like, I'm not, I'm not over here sending my goons after folks. I'm not like, but that was how the way people were talking about it, as if like I was telling people to go to, to, to do the most that like, I, I don't personally, um, like, I would, like I said, like some people, like I said, it's on both sides, but even just for me, it's like, for people in the MySpace, like I do feel like some folks is like really took it to the next level. And it, and I, yeah. I didn't expect that. Like I, I had a, my own personal critique and even like, even with me saying whether you guys, you know, non-black people, how they feel about that segment. Um, it wasn't meant for it to explode into these things, but also like on the other half, it's like, I would say this, like, I don't think my video would have ever blown up to the degree that it did. Like, it wouldn't mm -hmm. have even got the numbers that it did if it wasn't for a 15-second clip circulating. Well, I mean... There's that. Yeah, I mean, that'll happen. Like, that's, that's well, yeah, just something as a, as a content creator, you know, especially, you know, like, you've, got, you've gotten a lot of attention from this stuff, so I imagine your, your you know, platform's growing a bit. It's definitely something you have to be conscientious about. Um, I mean, I know I yeah. think about it. I think about it so much that, like, 
uh, like, fuck, it, 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 it can mess with you sometimes. Like, I mean, I've been doing this for three years now, and I know how everything that you, everything that I say can be uh, taken and, and, and so, but, but also you got to, you, there is a certain amount that you have to go, okay, well, if I say something super harsh and super inflammatory, that people might run with that. And uh, yeah, so, I mean, certainly I imagine you probably didn't think it was gonna go as far as it did with, uh, uh, with, with you know, your current subscriber count and everything, but I don't know. I, I, I feel like, at least personally, when I look at that situation, I don't know everything about it. I don't know uh, if there's like things, sh I mean, I haven't seen like, I haven't seen Shark respond in the same to the same tone to the people who've been criticizing him lately. I mean, the amount of stuff I've seen, and I'm, I'm like, like most people would at least perceive me as being like closer to the Vosh sphere because I'm personal friends with Vosh. But in truth, as far as following goes, I have a pretty even keel, and I, I see some, I see. A, I mean, I've seen a lot of comparisons between like like Shark and Candace Owens, and when I hear that, I'm just like, man, that is like. I feel like that's just so overstating the case. Like, and I mean, like, I say that as somebody who's been fucking uh, torn into by people on really unjust things. Like, I mean, God, like, again, there was an entire period of history of my channel where people were accusing me of being a transphobe. And the real, the reason why was because I made an argument in favor of self-identification. And that was then taken, well, if you believe in self-identification, and this is the telephone game that's played, if you believe that self-identification, you know, for trans people, that like a woman is somebody who identifies as a woman as a basic rule for how you treat other people, that that means that you don't think that trans people are, are women before they come out of the closet, which is kind of a huge jump in logic. Um, but then that was justified to call me a transphobe and then compare me to, um, most commonly, I was compared to the uh, sex criminal Jessica Yaniv, which is insane. And that was something that was oh, all that over the person. place. People were just, oh, for, because no, I have a self-identity cool. thing, of course. But, mm. but that's like, it's hurtful and it's dishonest. And people on the internet are gonna say all kinds of things, but this was not just random, this wasn't just random people on the internet. This was being pushed by fucking, um, uh, by by content creators and people with with some level of platform, and and it, it just builds into this atmosphere where um, I feel like everybody's brains end up turning off because nobody is like uh, reining anything in anymore. That it's all just everything. It's like an all-out war where no holds are barred, and you can compare anybody to anyone and say whatever the fuck you want. And, and, you know, they pissed me off, so it's okay for me to fuck them over or whatever. And I, I don't know, I, I oppose that so strongly, um, especially because, uh, like, most of the people that we're talking about here uh, have had a modicum of success. Like, especially, this is especially true among, like, all marginalized creators. Like, um, like God, the the amount of success I've had, or Shark has had, or even Vosh, like I, I I remember just yesterday I was looking at a video and uh, I was watching a video and in the sidebar it had in the recommended tab it had one of my videos that I had was reviewing for a clip and it was like finish this video and then below it has the recommended videos and it was a my video Vosh's video and an H three H three video. And my video had like, at the time, like 1.7 thousand, you know, views. Not a whole lot of views, it was a less popular video. Then we have Vosh's video, which had 65,000 views. And then we had the H3H3 video, which had 1.3 million views in two hours. And I'm just like, the scale of, you know, the scale that we're dealing with in these spaces, I think sometimes gets forgotten. Not that things should be looked the other way, but that when people are like comparing, uh, you know, random small creators to like, like in the video we watched today, uh, comparing, uh, you know, Keffels and Vosh to Dave Chappelle and J.K. Rowling is like, it's like it's like comparing a firecracker to an atom bomb in terms of like effect and in terms of advocacy in basic, it's almost incomparable. And I feel like when we get to that level of hyperbole, it just starts to break everything down and it just makes the space nothing but toxic, right?
Well, I'll say this. Uh, I, I like to just like speak on like even my own video because my own video is also like the, um, it has its own intensity to it already. Yeah. So like sure. I feel, like for example, um, when it comes to Shark, uh, I, I even like tweeted at him to kind of make my statement clear since um, before. Uh, so like I personally, and again, this is how I personally feel. I'm not like reining in folks. I'm not going to like, people can have they can feel what they want people and also because they want to say let me before i even say this like i uh, probably mean trek and agree on 95 maybe 96 maybe even a higher percentage of that of things and i know he makes very content so like mm -hmm. i'm not i'm gonna like make that known um but i do feel personally that there's similar tactics that he uses as Candace Owens. Not, he's not a literal Candace Owens. He's not. But the tactics, and I need to go into the tactics, tactics since like I didn't really lay that out in my video. Mm -hmm. But the tactics to me that I that I observed as a black person, mm -hmm. I feel that. Because um, Candace Owens is a smart woman. She's dumb sometimes, virtually dumb sometimes. But she, she knows, but she knows that she has a brand and what she's doing and how she's going to climb up her social ladder by making specific moves. And that's how I felt. And maybe, and even let's say this, maybe I can even be wrong about what yeah. I perceived as those tactics. So yeah. I can give him that charitability that maybe potentially I was wrong on um, my examples that made me feel that he's using these tactics. Uh -huh. But that is essentially where I'm at with that. But yeah. also just like, after seeing like even his response video um i do stand in where i feel on things but yeah. i'm you... still like i don't wish bad upon him i don't like i never expected like things to get to like again like people were talking to me as because like i'll say this like when it was everything was going down after my video uploaded and whatnot stuff like i didn't like for outside like the the clip that went viral mm -hmm. Uh, viral in our space and i responded to that directly but like i had a bunch of creators some other people in my comments and i didn't respond to them you know yeah. i had certain people come back day day after day like relitigating things i didn't respond to them i didn't respond to their comments um so that's like for me i felt like everyone else was escalating it and i was like not like responding to like folks directly and the only person i did respond directly to was shark because like i saw his response to the the clips circulating and i i responded to him in a like a, my own tweet so that i stand on so do you do yeah, you think that's... like uh like do, do, do you i'm sure you can understand like um why somebody would and I, I think at least you might be able to understand why somebody might be in the right to feel like uh, a comparison to candace owens is like extra is like extra hurtful um i can see why it's yeah, hurtful right and also like, like but can you also acknowledge that like um that like so here's something I've talked about on my stream a lot. You've probably even heard me talk about this. These are spaces mm -hmm. of reputation. Um, the, because of the way that the internet operates, your reputation is a lot. Um, um, my channel got severely choked by the, fa by the fact that I had some pretty huge, I mean, enormous, we're talking way bigger than anybody who's been talked about today. You know, bigger even than Vosh at the time. Um, you know, content creators who were just obsessed with me and i mean manifest uh, i know what you're talking obsessed. about you know we what i'm we talking won't say about. this name but i know what you're yeah talking about. but yes. uh i know what but like yeah. like that hurt my channel growth because there was thousands i mean t hundreds of thousands arguably of people who were told by a source of some sort that they had some trust in uh that i was this that and the other thing that i was harmful in this way that i was dangerous uh, that was literally the the thing that some of the things that was said about me explicitly was that i was mm -hmm. dangerous a harm uh, dangerous to the trans community was one of the things that was used that was broadcast to hundreds of thousands of viewers um, with what I would consider to be actually fraudulent evidence. So in these spaces of reputation, you can probably understand where, um, or at least I hope you can, understand why like making a comparison to someone as infamous uh, and in my opinion, very malignant as, uh, as Candace Owens 
uh, might do some serious damage, or if nothing else, let's say that the damage doesn't happen, at least cause a very genuine fear of reputational damage, right? Well, yeah, of course. Um, yeah. The thing is, like, I felt, so yeah, so that's like a given. That's like a given in this space. So like my goal was because like I, for me, like I said, like the tactics of Candace Owens is the way like he strategically had certain takes that yeah. to me as a black person came off very mask off. And the final, my final straw was the cat black situation. Sure. And I'm, I want to say this, no one has to agree with me. That's where I'm at. Like I'm not. Like, I know how I feel as a black person is where I'm at and I where I feel crossed. And that's what I spoke on. Mm -hmm. And when I saw his response video, it kind of further confirmed how I how I feel for different reasons this time, though, for different certain things that were said that I kind of I wouldn't move that way. Um, so, yeah, that's basically where I stand, because, like, if I felt if I felt like something I couldn't stand on, I wouldn't put in a video. That's yeah. how I personally feel. So because I don't just throw things out lightly, out there lightly, because it's not a joke. I guess all um, I'm saying is I'm, like when I when I think mm -hmm. of Candace Owens, like I mean Candace Owens is. I, remember, in, I said tactics. Yeah, like, but, but even tactics. And Let's I'm, just say on the tactics yeah. of Candace Owens. When I think of the tactics of Candace Owens, I mean Candace Owens is a she helped found. A uh, a right wing propaganda outlet known as the Daily Wire, you know, and um, where she has sort of assembled a crew and uses her own uh, uses her own identity as a shield for people like Michael Knowles and Matt Walsh, you know, m m these like oh yeah, you, I saw and, and that's not even up. to say like her own arguments. And when I look at her tactics, like I mean. Um, her tactics have been like outright manipulation. Um, she has like stomped down other other creators, uh, uh, you know, um, on a great level. Like, I mean, down to the degree of like, it doesn't matter. She doesn't care about what, what their race is. She doesn't give a shit. She will just choke out anybody um, and use basically any tactic to be able to do that. I feel like, I, I feel like that, like even even if you say the tactics of t Candace Owens, the tactics of Candace I Owens point out like are... which tactic that I'm referring to. So like the tactics, like some of the things that Candace Owens saying, she knows is bullshit. Well, sure, but I mean, so but there's and lots of people who do that who aren't Candace well, Owens, right? Like Candace sure. Owens, for example. Uh, so uh, what I'm because Candace is not a, a new phenomenon, but she is the most successful. She is the most mm -hmm. successful. So, um, she's taking the whole paid black Republican route where uh -huh. you know what they want to hear, you know how to like brand yourself and to get into certain spaces by strategically making decisions whether you believe in it or not. Yeah. So, which where it comes for me is I feel when it came to two Pacific positions, uh, situations, um, and I'm purposely not saying the names because you can see, folks can see the video and I don't want to like relitigate those people that I use. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not, I'm not super interested but, um, in like drilling down on every issue you have. I mean, I guess what I'm yeah. trying to say is like, you, you know. You see in, where I'm coming from too though. Like why I mean, to I, a certain I, degree, I kind of like I do and, yeah, understand where you're coming yeah, from. Like, like, I mean, God knows, like there are, there are things I mean, I can use a very specific example. There are rhetorical tactics and arguments that uh, that Vosh uses and positions that Vosh holds that drive me fucking batty. Um, I know you're the but, one person that would like actually like as a friend that you're you've you've never felt like you couldn't have a criticism of them. Hence, like the video I used your clip from because you yeah. I if I but I only stuck to you where I felt was the only point I was trying to make. Yeah. So I mean, I I that's guess why I didn't include all the other stuff because that was just like I didn't I don't want other people speaking for me. Um, yeah. So, um. Yeah. I I guess so I, I know all I'm trying to say is like even with the stuff that drives me and and again my history having like 
at, at great personal cost, let's just say the times that I've disagreed with Vosh, I have lost subscribers. In fact, one of the biggest loss of subscribers ever happened with my my last public debate with Vosh. I lost a thousand subscribers in the course of like two days. It severely damaged my channel. My channel was not very big at the time. Um, that was devastating. Um, and I still published the video. I still put the video up. I still you know stood by that, even though it made his fans you know a lot of his fans very angry at me. Um, but even still, like I, I can't imagine comparing Vosh to like, I don't know, Ben Shapiro or or Matt Walsh or something. Just because even if even if he has like um, an argument that I think that like a tactic that like is borrowed from those people, the comparison to such a major figure is so it's so severe and so like hyperbolic that it comes with implications that you can't control. Like even if you were being spicy or whatever, um, which, you know, everybody, people fucking talk Kenneth bad Felix shit. Kenneth was an example as like an archetype is what's the point. So it wasn't that I was trying to say he's using the tactics of a right ringer. That's not was ever what that means. And I can get how you But you gotta admit, I'm, Candace Owens is a pretty spicy archetype to pick. Like, especially... It's you specifically know. a black archetype, but I'm pointing out that black people are well aware of within our community, but Candace Owens is the one example that people in politics is well aware of that utilize these specific tactics as a black person. So, I mean... Again, like, that sure. segment was met for black folks. It wasn't really, like... That was me... Speaking as a black person on how mm. I genuinely feel and where yeah. I stand, but also like I said, I'm when I go even go back to the response video, like there's a conflation that he did with the C word. Uh -huh. And again, I'm mixed. Uh -huh. I'm Afro Latina. My dad's Hispanic, Macizo, my mom's black. Uh -huh. Um so he conflated C word. Because well, it's a conflation to um, two two compl two uh, n words, one in English, w w meant for women, black women, and one n word in Spanish, uh -huh. and that I took very personal because it's those are the c word, the usage of the c word, and those n words have two completely purposes, usage and meanings that are not equivalent at all. And I can get why why he felt the way he so let me put it this way. I can get why at that point, especially when he like filmed it and like he had went through people that I already felt that escalated the situation that I wouldn't co-sign that I was getting blamed for as if like I had them like my goons like a mafia leader to go like sick my pit bulls on well I'm not like trying was... to say anything about no I'm not saying you are, I'm just trying that... to say like like I'm I mean, not saying your you video are, has had has had a lot moving. of reach and uh, like so there's a yeah. couple things here like your video ended up having a lot of reach which is always something a video can do even intentional mm -hmm. or not um, that's definitely something that can that you, you, a video can go well beyond your uh, your. Uh, I you lost know. control of what that was doing. Like I had no, I had, I had never, I didn't expect uh, the clip to even like explode so fast. Like within the same day of it being uploaded, so yeah. it like blew up. Like and again, like this, it would have never blown up to the degree that it did if that clip didn't circulate. Because as we all know whether like, you you like or not you like a video yeah. or dislike it like that pushes it if you well, argue sure. but but comments, also like you gotta admit like that so, that clip was almost like designed like that's gonna that's an eye catcher that's, a, that's a zinger right you that was like a very can it moment that but it's a but it, uh, that's real it, you even you can acknowledge it was harsh canon. right like it was really harsh right like it's you were canon. you were you were slamming him pretty hard and that's definitely going to get some eyes, right? With myself, yeah. and it wasn't about getting eyes. It was just me standing on how I felt, and because again, the video is a purging. That video was designed as the end of me ever discussing in any video format about, like, even like on my YouTube, on my content, I make like about that. That was like me getting out all how I felt and what I observed over this time, and I laid it out whether good editing or not or some parts that i probably would have done differently that's what the video was for it wasn't 
to I didn't like that book. So that's where it goes. Like I said, like that was really a canon moment for me in there. And because I was compl- contemplating, do I even include that part? Because I I know that in my content, I don't even like I usually have like this ASMR approach, and I usually don't like break character and like have like a very like super stern stern tone. Uh-huh. So. It wasn't already like really with the way I was like designing my channel, the way to be like kind of like this art ASMR approach to me discussing how I personally, my perspectives on racism, et cetera, whatnot. That's fair. So, but I, I just, I yeah. guess what I'm trying to say is like, I, I, the video to me, like just going to be 100% real. You had Keffel's Vosh, Shark, I, I think. I think that was all three. Let me see. Maybe in the thumbnail. Uh, um, and Merrick. And Merrick. Um, so, you know, a lot of people who, uh, let's just say, are hot buttons on Twitter specifically. It seems to me like, if we're being honest here, like you were definitely trying to reach outside of your circle with that one. Um, like, um, I, I don't, do you- I, I feel like, I feel like you got to be honest about that, right? Like, if you're putting the face of like four controversial people on the cover of a video, um, like that's a that's 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 what we call in the business, you know. You're making a thumbnail. You're making a catchy thumbnail. I Arguably never, even no. clickbait. Like that's. Like, I wouldn't say clickbait, but I know that it would definitely potentially reach. But folks you're reaching for an audience case. still, right? And like I can admit that I do that in all my videos. Like we'll all say of this, my videos, like, I'm an entertainer. I, so you yeah, know. but I'll say this: like I thought when they would see it. It had been like three months later because of how small my channel was. I had no idea it would ever do anything. I had thought it'd never get anywhere to Twitter discourse. Like that's because again, like what it was I'm all it was all video. mostly pertaining to Twitter discourse, right? So, um, let me see. Most of the topics no. on there were were tied most, to, well, to Twitter parts, discourse in some, some way or another. Some parts right? was tied to stuff. There was still like YouTube segments. There was at least a handful of YouTube stuff. So there was. Probably sixty percent of Twitter and forty percent YouTube because it's it's definitely a mixture because I know my own video for sure the way I even approached it because it was very much like even the way I went about like things like I explain the traits and the behaviors and then I used examples and that's kind of how each chapter was structured. So when it comes to the photo the figures in the thumbnail, that wasn't just like Obviously, I knew me even criticizing uh, or even like using them as examples was going to obviously get reach and people are going to see it and watch that and probably potential people from those spaces. That's a given. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I. So, I, I mean, it sounds like there. it sounds like the answer is like, like, yeah, you did know that it was going to reach beyond your space, that it wasn't well, of just, well, that, it wasn't that's 100%, just intended. That's a given. Like, well, yeah, well, of course, but, I mean, it wasn't well, like a, a tea I, I know, party. Just, like, you, you were kind of back and my off friend. Like, we were kind of. I'm not I trying to like. I'm not trying now. to grill you or pin you or anything. It was just. It kind of sounded like you were. You weren't. I just you weren't... Mis- I missed, uh, interpreted what you were like. Oh, implying, okay. But now that's I get fair. What you mean now. That's it's it. I'm you like, know, it like party for friends video at all. Like I yeah, knew. That, like, I feel obviously... like if you were gonna do that type of thing, like you could post a rant that you put in a group chat or something, which would be a totally different thing. Oh, if this was like a yeah. so, like a you know you ranted in a video to a group chat, but this was a public facing video. You made a thumbnail that was super eye catching. Mm-hmm. It definitely went well beyond just like you know a rant Anything to your that friends. I ever and int- well again like and also like how I'm going back to like I was extra small, so I had never. Thought it had ever reached outside of fans yeah. that would engage with it on both sides of things. Mm-hmm. So, like again, like I, I was coming from this place where no one was ever playing my video that was from that space or either space, either space. Like it wasn't. I was just like it. it Twitter is what blew up the video. Like Twitter sure. again, like that. That clip, happened. That'll happen too. What, yeah. yeah. So that's Twitter. Twitter 100%. tends to like. You know, a Twitter Twitter always has a magnifying effect for anything dramatic and also anything that's snappy. I mean, I guess what I'm saying is like, yeah, your your channel was small. You're you know a fairly mm-hmm. fairly new to content creation. I'm not trying to like I don't know slam you for anything like that. No, um, I'm. Do you, I, I do what not to say. change the to- not to even change the topic, mm-hmm. but on this like, do you ever get like do you ever feel like like it's this whole thing has just become 
a uh, like a, a, a an interpersonal uh, hurtful war of personalities because that's what I like when I opened this video before I even watched the foreign man in a foreign land video um, at the beginning of the stream you know one of the things I was talking about I did this big long preamble talking about how exhausting it is as a creator and as somebody who spends time in these spaces like I get tired of of the telephone game with everybody. I get tired of feeling like um, like like my brain just shuts off whenever I read something because I don't believe anybody anymore because they all just say bullshit. Um, and I worry that like, I mean, there's so much stuff. Like right now it's like this Keffels thing. And again, the way I feel about it is like, um, I think that most of the shit that gets said about Keffels is completely insane. Like, it's so far from the truth. It's so much of a game of telephone. Um, and that's not to say that there aren't things to criticize Keffels on. I have done so. I have done videos, multiple, criticizing Keffels. Um, even some of my videos where I was positively agreeing with Keffels, I ended up working in a lot of cr critiques. You know, I'm not exactly like uh, a Keffels super fan or anything like that. Um, and uh, But I've known Keffels for a while. And I just feel like... Um, I don't know. It doesn't. It, it sometimes feels like there's this. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like there's just this. Uh, s there's a there's an incentive to turn everything into turn all these interpersonal disagreements, things that are like um, may or may not be political in nature, but to turn them into something so much more. Do you ever worry that that's like something that you're getting pulled into? Because it's something that I've had to like actively push back against. Um, and I also recognize that I don't make a lot of friends by being like, uh, when I tell people like, Hey, I think you're fucking, I think you're fucking losing it over this and you probably need to cool down a little bit. You ever feel like it's like going out of control? Oh, sorry. Um, with me, like, even looking with my own video, like I'm, I made my own critiques that I felt very valid in, and I wouldn't put in a video if I didn't feel like I, this wasn't like a personality. This was actually genuine, like things I have, have genuine critiques on. But as someone that, when I made that video, I even just saw like how some people just like, I had to tell someone, a couple of folks like, hey, can you please stop replying? I see every time you reply to this person, I get the notification and it's honestly annoying me. Hmm. So it, I, I do see like kind of, like there's sometimes there's some some people that follow me. I just I I wish I had the courage just like just to go and block them. But if I did, I feel like they'd go and like rant about me blocking them because <laughs> it's just like I made the video, but it was supposed to be a purging. So it's just kind of when you say purging, you mean just kind of like getting it out of your system. Yes, it's the whole point of why like my video was structured the way it was. I'm sorry. Do you have like I need to like oh, I need to grab my phone. That's my hormone. Uh, yeah, if you need a break, if you need just, a moment, just no, go right ahead. Right. I just took my hormones right now, but I, I was looking for my phone. I took care of that. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, no worries. Uh, sorry. So yeah. it was, when you moved away from the mic, it was like, it, it, I'm getting a little bit of back and forth. If you move away from the mic, I lose I lose uh, audio on you. So I couldn't hear everything you said there, but that's fine. It's no big deal. Okay. Um, like, uh, I don't know. So like, you hear what I'm trying to say? Like, I, so I, I, that's me saying, like, I agree with you that in some cases, I'm gonna say because I'm not gonna write them all like that, but there's definitely oh, gosh, a, a, a space on Twitter that operates like that. That I I don't like their stuff. I don't retweet their stuff. Um, I just skip by it on Twitter because it's just like. I mean, I get again, like uh, in this video, even in this foreign foreign man in a foreign land uh, video, I, I, I saw what I would consider to be a, a pretty a pretty out of the ordinary level of like what I would call like back padding and uh, wagon circling. Like, I mean, uh, I think Jesse Gender, not to like name names, but I think Jesse Gender like did a big thread, which was like, this is a foreign man in a foreign land appreciation thread. Let's like shout him out after, right after like retweeting the video, promoting this video. And honestly, I think this video was really bad. 
I think this video is like that if anyone was being honest with themselves, they would acknowledge that like his conclusion um, that like marginalized people aren't given any wiggle room, that they're not allowed to make mistakes, and that they're torn apart limb from limb, which is the conclusion of the video, but the rest of the video is basically making out Keffels to be an incredibly harmful person with very little evidence played. Like, I think that that's like repugnant. And I think that even people in your friend group should be willing to go, man, that's fucking bullshit. But I didn't see that happening. In fact, I saw the opposite. I saw an abnormal amount of, uh, of like, promote going out of their way to promote this video to be like hey let's build up you know let's let's gas let's gas this the fuck up and i i go man like doesn't that doesn't it when when this is all combined with all of the 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 big statements about politics and the caring about marginalized people but then a video that's just so self-contradictory and also in my opinion very manipulative in the way that it talks about Keffels and also way overstates harm like I mean he described and I quote like Keffels did well, I saw pain, the cause pain at, at scale but that's just not true confused. it's just false Some of them don't like, when are we going to draw care. the line and say hey dude you're fucking lying now you're just not telling the truth anymore so I'll say this and also um, it's hypocritical right so like where is this why is there so much um what, what, what's it, it? It almost seems to me like there's a bunch of people who have it who who really don't like Keffels, and they're basically willing to promote whatever hurts Keffels, even if it's something that's like blatantly contradictory. And do you ever get worried that that's like a like a toxic space, and and that like there's problematic behaviors in that Just type one of one second? Yeah, because uh, you you said a lot. Sure, sorry, I know. I'm a, I'm yeah. I'm I'm a. Uh, six hours in, I, I can get a little rambly, and I apologize. Yeah, because uh, I'm trying to like keep up with every point. Sure, so, sure. Like, we'll do like, so like pretty much, I will say my examples that I use. Mm -hmm. I actually explain them to a degree, so people because I can't just throw something out and expect people unless like people just have their own personalized. But I I explain my personal. Like I'd show a clip and I would go into problem with that because even like mine was my my personal critique is the say your name situation the the hashtag say your name discourse that mm. i as a black person was very um not like i didn't appreciate how that was handled as a disc it wasn't just a keffels thing but it was, it was like right. how a whole community of folks not i'm not, and it's not even just in that it was just like there was people that were just like whole um orgs that were using hashtag say your name that are not like connected to anyone on any leftist online spaces. Um, so yeah, I have like because I only want to speak for my myself. And as far as with this video, um, you know, like there's 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 because I saw your whole most like ninety percent of the reaction to the video, and there's some things that I don't have the same opinion as on as you. But that's why I'm always gonna say like you can have your opinion. But, yeah. um, but you can understand I, where my frustration comes from. Right? I, I can understand where you're like, coming from. I feel 100%. like I laid out my arguments pretty well. And to me, that like, again, I don't mean to interrupt you here or anything, but like, I get your me, logic, this, though. This like, video I'm not is saying pretty I don't emblematic of the type of behavior I'm talking about, which is basically a it's this Machiavellian approach of being willing to basically lob any accusation while out of one side of your mouth saying, I'm, you know, marginalized people don't catch any breaks and every mistake they make gets jumped on by the right and the left and nobody gives marginalized people of any stripes uh, 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 any room to grow or to exist as a person. You fail once and sometimes your entire life ends. And then at the same time, make a video that's basically taking a giant spear and aiming it at Keffels on what I would consider to be pretty, uh, it doesn't live up to that that statement, does it? Doesn't that seem like, I don't know, do you see where I'm coming from? It seems emblematic of what I'm talking about in these spaces, where there's like this overstatement of harm, there is this um, exaggeration in, in the way people talk, hurtfulness. I can say there's parts that he sh probably should have went in more detail, like com uh, more length and explanations on. Um, I can say that, um, but you know, like you have your opinion, I see where you're coming from. I get your logic completely. I get it completely. Do you really think, like, like just on a personal level, totally personal, do you really think that it's accurate to say that, like, Keffels has caused pain at scale? Do you really think that's an accurate thing to say? 
Let me be honest. When I when I heard him say that, I I didn't actually get what it implied one hundred percent. Like I didn't get with it. So if you can if you can break that down to me right I now, I mean, I can give at least the way I understood I, it. Now I can't I can't be in his mind. But usually when somebody says pain at scale, that means uh, caused an, an incredible amount of 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 pain. Like uh, pain at scale is a is a turn of phrase that generally means like like a huge like a huge amount of damage. It's a, it's a it's saying um, like pain at scale is like is like uh, you've done a lot of you've caused a lot of pain. And even even if I think about all the things and trust me, there have been some moments I've literally spoken to Keffels about shit that you know fights that Keffels has gotten in and per person to person. I said, what the fuck are you doing? But I don't think anything that any of the fights Keffels has been in would, in my mind, qualify as pain at scale, especially with like images of 9-11, and especially in the context of everything that happened to Keffels. I just feel like, I feel like this is like just, I don't know, do you, do you really agree with that type of statement? Not a hundred percent. I can say that, not 100%, because right. I don't think That's fair. it's to the extreme. Yeah, I don't think it's to the point where I could say it's couples divisive, and not I have sure, my own reasons but... why, and, but I don't, I wouldn't say that I agree to 100% that she's like this boogie woman that like, it's just, there's just things that, I guess, to us in the black community, and certain folks that we and again like i don't like i'm not the one saying like she's the worst person ever one no. that, like this is this is me speaking personally like i i know she's pretty she's pretty divisive like the say your name thing was very divisive like that definitely like pissed off a lot of people that don't even they're not even at all, um in the leftist space on Twitter, like I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm gonna be folks. completely honest. I may have missed her statement on the say your name thing. I, I, I remember. I mean, I talked about that, but I talked about it uh, with regard to I think some a thread that Jesse Gender wrote, and I, I kind of what what did Keffel say about say her name? So in my own video, because that's where I focus on. That's why I will like I have, like I don't know, like I don't. I don't fully care about zodiacs, but like I'm a Taurus, but I, it's sure, like, sure. we're very. Um, I guess like if I'm gonna like put like of something out, I want to have all my T's lined up so like mm -hmm. nothing can get misconstrued. Like so, with my own critiques, like I said, with the say your name thing, like she essentially um, was fine with co-oping it and had her reasons of something a lot. And like if you you can go to my own video to like see exactly because I, I included the screenshots of what she actually said um, sure. so that's all i'm gonna say in a vague way because i don't want to okay. like miss i don't want to i don't want to like say anything incorrectly but uh it essentially was her like her and other and it wasn't just her but other also other folks uh basically like mad that not i want to say mad mad's not the right word but they were definitely wanting to co-op and the say your name uh hashtag and being insensitive when folks were explaining like that that took their time to explain why it's not okay to co-op uh this movement that black women because again like for those that don't know say your name thing like it's uh because of the black lives matter movement was solely focusing on men or 90 percent of the time you know there was a lack of representation for the harm that black women and black femmes experience because they also use say her name for black trans women as well. Um, well true, but I mean... Um... So it was 100% the whole aspect of the type of attitude and tone I of thought being an... so okay with co-opting something that like as outsiders have no dictation of who gets to use what when it wasn't a space that was made for them or where it was made for them. This was completely for a whole movement for black and femmes that were underrepresented. And do, do you think- It's like, it's like kind of like how the black squares in 2020 when people were sharing those, it with hashtag Black Lives Matter, it was clogging up and missing. It was covering a lot of things that black folks uh, were posting at that time. And it was just- how completely counterproductive well to what i mean i do think that's a little bit of a different thing i mean the the black the black well, squares that's essentially was... what we're that's what we're, we're trying to prevent as 
what the I, meant I, of hashtags of black lives matter. I guess here's matter. what I'll and ask then, you on this particular you people, subject. You see the point I'm trying to make as far as even you well, don't. No, no, I, I should be clear. I completely understand the concern of co-opting. I mean, God, uh, me, every single year that I've streamed, I've had to have conversations about, uh, you know, cops at Pride, uh, the attempt to purge kink kink from pride, the attempt to clean up pride uh, for corporate advertisers. I think that's a real concern. But do you think it's possible that like the say her name thing came from a actual genuine place of severe grief about a, you know, a young trans person oh, who was course. killed? Of course. Because I mean, to me, like- I, I don't deny that at all, but well, it's- Well, it's uh, just, it the seems- The problem lies- Using the word co-opt problem... is- and I'm not, yeah, I just want to get this out here real quick, just real quick. It's like the, using the term co-opt, um, generally when that's termed, like the term co-opt generally implies, and this is just the way that it's used, that's what the term means, is generally it implies somebody intentionally going out of their way to take something over to use it for their own ends. Like for example, uh, Burger King, uh, you know, ter putting their profile to a, you know, a black square uh, as basically a free advertisement riding off the back of a social movement that clogs up the actual thing. But I... Well, co-opting could also be as simple as co-opting AVE. That's like one of the biggest and easy examples for people in the black community is people don't even realize the origin of some of these words and they just casually use them. And oh, some sure. For, so that's I, like I would say that's a little bit of a different type of co-opting, right? Like that's like, we're talking about a very different phenomenon. There's degrees like in, in terms to co-opting. There's degrees. Well, but it's a different um, type, right? Like uh, people co-opting language it, like that is a little bit different than when, what we're talking about, like a hashtag movement. Well, isn't like hashtag part of like the language because it's, they have meaning. To a certain um, degree, so whole... but also like, like the, the, like say her name is fairly intuitive. Like I'm not it's a fairly intuitive use thing, it right? In spite, what, my my you point is, I don't want to. I don't want to. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make this like like hard to 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 talk no, about or to hard, go no, up on other hard. things. What I'm trying to say is, do you mm -hmm. think it's possible that like um, that there was absolutely no ill intent whatsoever? Like, not even, and that 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 perhaps it wasn't even a co-opting at all. It was just people using the same three words for another thing that they cared about. Because if I'm not mistaken, and I could be wrong about this, but I believe initially, that, that's how I it believe was that first. initially that say her name was for missing indigenous women, if I'm not mistaken. So, and they I don't have think- their own word. They have their own hashtag. They have their own Ooh. hashtag. And that's like mm -hmm. a given thing. And that, that's also when people that run with well, that talking point, they're speaking for indigenous people. I'm not because... trying to speak for indigenous people. What I'm trying to say is, I'm is not that I are, wouldn't, at least myself, saying, like, what I would say is from my people perspective. People that were using that type of argument were a lot of non-indigenous people running and saying that because at the end of the day, like co-opting goes way back, even way before to say, uh, co-opting, sorry, I'm, say your name goes way back, way before even Sandra Bland. Okay, This right. is like, this yeah, goes that's what I was years about. back even before like because i saw the type of articles they were trying to release them like these are there were many black women's years before those articles but these hashtags were used for i i um, I, I agree with so, you what i'm trying to say is that i don't at least from my perspective i would they not have, call it people have mmiw missing missing murdered um MMIW. I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah. Mi part. Missing uh, and murdered Indigenous, indigenous women. MMIW. Yeah. Um, but that's yeah. true. But that's not. Yeah. But but I mean, those things aren't exclusive to one another. Like uh, there's there's all kinds Indigenous of overlap. Not you say what I'm name. trying to say Indigenous is that women. I would not describe. Um, you know, to me, that's like a straw man because. Well, it's hold like, on a second. Hold on. We're getting we're getting ahead of ourselves now. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What I'm trying to say here okay. is, and I got to get my point mm -hmm. out because I want to I want to make sure that this is going in the in like a, a direction that's productive, um, which is to say, I wouldn't call it um, you know co-opting if black initially. Women, I wouldn't call it co initially. Hold on, hold on. I wouldn't call it co-opting if black women also used, uh, say her name. Um, and also indigenous people used say her name at various points in history. I would consider that a, a an evolution or the using of a, of a similar phrase. I wouldn't consider that co-opting. And I think that's the position that a lot of people are coming from, which is to say that it's it feels, I think a lot of people feel like there's a, um, there is a, uh, an unnecessary policing that's happening when a tragedy happens and people come up with a hashtag 
um, and then we're going over, we're trying to trying to say this is co-option or something, when I don't think that it's co-option. I think it's just a, a hashtag that's being used for a perhaps similar, perhaps different purpose, um, but ultimately to deal with a severe tragedy. You see what I mean? Like, I wouldn't, like, yeah. It, yeah, it wouldn't occur to my mind to ever thing. criticize, like if a, if you know, if a a black trans woman was killed, and um, and then people were using say her name. I I think it would be, I wouldn't I wouldn't imagine it would be productive, empathetic, or useful to go, hey, you're you're co-opting this from m missing um, indigenous women. You see what I mean? So I think a lot of people interpreted I see what your point like you're people to going make, after that. That was never my argument. So my, that was never my argument. The problem lies is because no one, we we get why people did it and whatnot. It's how they moved afterwards when black people took the time to explain. So because at the end of the day, you don't see indigenous people. You say their name, her name. That's just not the case. Well, I, I actually, no. I mean, I disagree with that. I, I actually, but, I mean, um, people are sending links also, to this right now in chat. Also, I mean, I looked into them, that, too. But yeah, I, I'm just saying also, that I, I don't know that that claim is but at accurate. the end of the day. It's not a thing that like indigenous women are using on a high number if they even are. And it's not something even, I don't see black people. Mm policing from indigenous people even using well, but it right. is a black I know, slogan but so that's i wouldn't what, even say my, that people were using my like, art my stance and black people's problem was when we did explain because we we got why we get why and we get it was from a, a um an innocent place we get that because even like orgs apologized uh well, sure, or but I mean, not, orgs, not orgs will apologize for all but, kinds of things, right? They apologize for... They, but rightfully yeah. so. But rightfully so. As a black person, we see, especially a black femme, but it's how people responded to that Do you Do you think that that's folks. like a productive use that's, of people's this is, time? This is where I'm standing, is it wasn't never initially how it was used in where it's placed. It's how they moved after they were explained. And that's the core problem that black people have. That's the core problem black femmes have. That's the problem when even when I shared it, on Instagram with just folks locally, just black people locally in my orgs and whatnot, they definitely all got in instantly how that is problematic. So this is so again, like I'm for those that were like being like intense when people are being, you know, they have a genuine place where they came from when they initially when when initially, but when you when you get corrected on things and you just dig your heels in well, that's I, my I, colonizer type of behavior. I mean, I don't and that know. was the language uh, I used in my video. I, I, I used hear that. you, but I, that's the, the language time, I used in my actual video that I stand on. I, I, I hear is, you, but also you don't at the same time, with like, it, but I mean, I I mean, I don't one hundred percent agree. Uh, I just I think you that, don't, like, and I don't one hundred percent agree with you either. But I, I again, know like, that. I'm black well, well, and I'm with them. And and when it comes to like again, like it becomes no, because I'm sorry, because like I'm 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 not. I need to like kind of. I'm almost finished with my thought because you, you said a lot. Before sure, sure. That's fine. I got to speak. So, we, we both said um, a lot. Yeah. yeah um, this is a where things are where it's like, because it's like essentially like a boundary or like that black femmes and we said, and whether like how non black people feel, it's really not your place. Uh, it's not your place. Um, when we educate y'all about it, you know, that was, that was the moment we, we get it. But for the Pacific people, for those that chose to dig their heels in and start talking back and started having, you know, entitlement, because that's what I talk essentially. When people that feel oh. entitled to say your name, that's where, you know, you got to twist it. Well, that's where, well, you know, okay, and, but... and that's exactly how black people felt. Out, uh, even just like I said, even I feel like we're, Twitter, I feel like we're getting... It, I, I brought it to Instagram to just local black folks and they all like a lot of them responded and like, well, that's fine. Bored. That's, that's so great. That's, that's fine. where I'm at. So the problem that I have again, like the arguments, I'm almost okay. because sure. like the, the only people that I'm seeing that are immediately their response to use indigenous people that, that, it, that, uh, was it indigenous people used it essentially whether that's true or not was just on Twitter. Well, it is that true. Is not... I mean, that's just a simple matter so, of truth. Like, that, that hashtag but in, has But in the way that, that they used it used. was in a, in a malicious intent to go, enti be entitled to go, essentially, like I said in my own video, colonize, say your name. And that was the the, the stuff that we saw, and that's I mean, why we responded. this is where I start to disagree with you. And and this is where I start to... And I was disagreeing with you earlier, but it's okay. That's fine. Well, wait, but hold on. But, I, but you had your turn to talk, so I want to say my mm -hmm. thing now, too. 
there's a couple of portions here where I feel like we're leaving the realm of productive political conversation, where we leave the realm of reasonable political discussion. So like, for example, when you say things like colonize- I don't know, I brought it to Instagram. Oh, hold on a second, hold on, on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. You gotta let me speak. Um, okay. When you say something like colonizing a hashtag, we've moved beyond, uh, we've moved out of the realm of you, of you sort of doing an analysis and saying, hey, this is kind of, you know, we gotta be careful about these hashtags, first of all, there are some basic facts about hashtags. Obviously, hashtags are anybody can slap them on any post that you want. It's a problem with hashtags generally. Um, and obviously, with a three term, with a three word phrase, there is no ownership that can be had. No org can do that. You wouldn't even, I don't even think you'd want an org to do that. In the same way, you wouldn't want a single org to own the rights to Black Lives Matter or any you know, social media thing. Um, ownership of something like that to me is a, is a very co is like it's it's not a simple thing. You can't just say somebody owns it or who's who gets to say. Like, um, I think a case can be made that people misuse it or whatever, but that's a little bit different than claiming ownership. And of course, when you start to say something like white people were colonized and they had been educated, there is a, I mean. I don't know if that's like, the, the language starts to reach to the point where I feel like we're talking about different things now, where now you're, um, you're alleging things that I don't think are accurate to what actually happened. Like when you saying that somebody colonized a hashtag, I mean, that's very strong language to use, but I just don't think that's accurate. And also if you take just a moment and step back to just look at what you're talking about, you're talking about people expressing grief at a dead child. I feel like calling that colonization is actually like not just, it's not just insensitive, it also just shoots your own point in the foot because it's not productive. Like calling that colonization is like, to me, it's just, it's unproductive. It's like, it's not even making your own point well. Like, well, I, I am, but you can have your stance. But I'm going to say this because I feel like you're splitting hairs. I mean, do, um, we're talking about the this, subject. This, goes, this is the subject. This, this surpasses Twitter because, like, like I said, initially, yeah, but the colonization, because that's the right language, it's exactly what it is, is the fact that well, when we, but the call, the call earlier you mentality. said that you could understand that, that, that people, that people were initially, using it out of, specifically initially, that's what I've said more. Well, I mean, that hashtag initially. never even well, got that big, to be fair, this time around. It was a, a grand total of like one week. These, these aren't, these aren't. That's not the point we're making. The point, the problem started no. when we, they got educated, when they were informed, when people took, black people took the time to let them know that what this means to us. Do you think all black, black people agreed on that particular point? Because I, I mean, 100%. I don't. This is, for those that were even arguing it, it was a very like, terminally online because every day, like I said, every day black folks. Well, I feel uh, like that goes both ways, few, right? Instagram. That goes both ways, right? Like. Arguing Not over when this, it comes to this, this, this is arguing over uh, arguing over the hashtag being used is is like almost intrinsically terminally online, right? Like nobody the talking points that people were running with was a very terminally online thing with the people that were in feeling entitled to, it. and that's why I said the colonized mentality because it's the whole thing when like we let white people know like hey like this is what it means to us and. Folks were like, well, I don't care. I desire this. So you're going to, too bad how you feel. I have my own bigger purpose. That's, because that, that, again, that's when it came, like I said, when we already had educated them. So, like, I'm, when I'm not attacking or mad at anyone that used it initially. That's what most black okay. folks don't feel that way. And I think anyone that do feel, that did feel that way initially, like, that's more like a Twitter thing. But when it comes to, mm -hmm. When we go out of our way to educate and let you know why, you know, it's very, we're very sensitive about our own movements that we made. And this is, has, has been like way before Sandra Bland, way years before Sandra Bland. And a lot of people don't even know who Sandra Bland is. Um, yeah. There was, that's, there was a very specific reason why this was even created initially. This isn't, well, this is not like a hashtag like Me Too. Because no one's over here arguing that just because that was made initially by a black woman, that no one else should be using it. This is a very specific, different case. Well, right, not but... a Me Too thing. Because that's why I feel like people were trying to talk about it as if like it was a Me Too hashtag. Because when I saw certain, some certain people using that that came from a black woman, 
And I thought that was well, I mean, that's why not I, the right I, argument. You know, but from my position, that's why case. I kind of think that the 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 ownership argument about hashtags to me seems, you know, somewhat silly. I, again, that's why I'm saying this is a different case. This isn't a Me Too hashtag. This is very specific to you. A very like when it comes to you, this like of movement that Black women specifically are underrepresented and all that stuff like everything sure. that, like, again even of our own movements that's the whole say our name would never exist if black lives matter was actually inclusive to women and trans folks when the same week as george floyd when he was murdered iana dior a black trans woman mm -hmm. in the same city was dogpiled jumped by almost up to upwards to 30 people for mm -hmm. getting in a car accident simply just because she was trans yeah, These I mean, I, I, I agree with exactly you that, like, that. So that's why, well, but you know, like, I get, I get where you're coming from, but yeah, like I said, like, every day black people like... are not going to have the Twitter response that a lot of these people that felt very entitled, that ha which isn't a colonizer mentality when it comes to white folks that I think, feel like that's... Despite us. <sighs> And I, I just you, feel you like it's like very hard to judge This is how black that. people talk. This is how black people talk about these, when these type of mentalities. We, we're, we're not afraid to use that word. And, you know, if... You know, you can I mean, feel how you I'm want, not afraid. As a black, to, I'm, I'm not afraid. I don't. I don't know. Like, there's a lot I'm of stuff that's being like, said here. That's like, I, I don't. I don't know exactly. I'm what, not saying you have to agree with me as a black person, because you know, I know where well, we no, stand. I, I, I mean, know when I, I brought it to you, like I said, Instagram to just everyday black folks. They were very baffled. Sure, but you you always know, like you have to know that like again, there's always going to be like a selection term. sample. Like I mean. I, I'm this not is, trying to say that like very specific. This is about entitled people when they got informed. Well, that see, that's felt, just why I just anyway, the, the, the reason that's why I, I contest the language on. is because like that's at least why for me, it's colonizer language. Uh, it's it's the right thing. It's the right word to describe that kind of entitlement mentality. That's exactly how we were talking. That's how <sighs> we're talking in colleges right now. That's how you know that is exactly what you know when it comes to even the way like Gen Z black folks are talking and even I, just other folks. I, this I, I just so don't, don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know if I. I don't know if I can. I. I, I can't agree with the idea that like people are being entitled by using the hashtag or by wanting to be able to. Ha they they to, showed to, it when they got like, educated, and that's well, what Keffels did. But I it mean, the kind couldn't, of couldn't pretty much. I mean, th that language always. Uh, that type of language always uh, makes raises my hackles just a little bit because I think that anybody can frame themselves as just educating. I could say right now if I wanted to that I'm just educating you, and whether or not people would say that's true, I just this is just a common knowledge within the black community though. Like this is not like some like big brain. But I, 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 I don't know if I, I don't know if I agree people. that like I don't know if I I don't know if I like I'm if gonna I let buy you know, like, the you, idea that like you don't have to agree with that. But this why maybe said, like, when I maybe it, it is. I, I can literally. I, I don't know that I either. Of us, well, hold on. I don't know that either of us really have the ability to uh, poll at large the black community as a this whole a very and come to a conclusion as though. to... Maybe this wasn't a, uh, I, I black, just the black community was not split on this. I, I have a hard sure. time like, believing that that the average black I person think here this like, is like your own bias showing because I'm literally just saying like right now like I took it to outside of Twitter where everyday black women people that run orgs people that are just and they said that they they, felt, they responded. I just want to be clear. It, they said that they felt like white women 100%. were were colonizing no, 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 the. Not, uh, you don't. Let's, let's let's be specific about our wording. Well, I'm trying to we, be. That's why I asked specifically, yeah, like what but, what you're saying you know, that they did, because there's been there's been some back and forth as far as what we're saying. White on. people in general, we said we didn't say white. When we said white people, yeah. so you um, think that, so, that like, white people were colonizing it with a, a with a dead entitled, with a dead trans teenager mentality? It wasn't. It, that's the problem. Is you can like. And I just I, the you, thing is that, that we get lost in people, some of the vague vague language, and I just want us to there, remember. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. I, no, I want to be completely clear. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a straw man. Hold on, I'm hold on. Right Please now. hold on that's a second. A straw man. I just, I just, I'm not trying to make you angry. I'm just trying to be clear, because again, what we're to talking me, it's about. Sensitive though, because like, like I'm gonna like, I don't want to like keep repeating myself. Like, like I said, the problem lied is when once they were educated, because any, because we all get why they used it we know it's for a noble cause okay okay let we me gave ask them you we let me gave ask them you this alternatives then. wait let wait one second we gave them al alternatives and they said no we want to use say your name 
And that's why I and other folks, that entitlement, we script the proper descriptor is that's some colonized behavior shit right there. And that's how everyday black people will see that. We're not over here afraid to use the word colonizer because then it's gonna hurt the feelings of, black, of non-black people when our shit is being colonized. That's literally how we talk about what a lot of even just play AAVE when it gets co-opted. So this is a very similar sense. And we, we get it, like I said, a noble cause. But once you get educated and you say, fuck that, I don't care how you feel, how I feel it goes above how you feel. Hmm. That's some colonized behavior shit. And that's exactly okay, how everyday Okay, but that mentality feel. right there, like, I don't fuck you, I don't care how you feel. When we're talking about, and I, I need to be specific about this, this is not any straw man. When we're talking about a hashtag being used. I'm like, used, this is documented. Hold on, hold on, I have it documented on, in my hold video. On, hold on, hold on. When we're talking about a hashtag that's being used for a dead trans woman, a, ch a child, like, do you understand how that might be not productive? You understand how that might actually like I think it's not productive hurt, for hurt. white people to like dig their heels in on something that was very simple when we gave well, them you're, you're being very options. broad by saying white people but I mean I feel like there's probably it was a, a lot of white people I feel like it there's probably a, a diversity of opinions on this particular issue it wasn't a lot of black people running and saying this well I don't right I don't now. think either of us have the numbers for how many black people agreed with this one hashtag that I popped up for a week on you, Twitter you all take... I'm saying is from all I'm trying to say is that like this we got onto this because it was something that you said was like an example of why you think that Keffel's well, hold on why yeah. you what hold on a second why you said that you felt like it was it was at least partially accurate um, to say that Keffel's had done damage or done pain it caused pain at writ large this one's divisive I said be divisive and this is an example okay, be, of why this was thing. divisive but like can you understand how people might interpret it another way and not without without let without us jumping into saying people are colonizers or without jumping into any sort of other thing like that can you understand how people could un, could feel like um like trying like like sort of trying to make an argument over hashtag ownership in the midst of a tragedy tragedy of a young a child who is trans might come across as other people as divisive in and of itself and they might be can you at least acknowledge that they might have some genuine reason to feel frustrated by that or feel like that was being used in bad faith i think you're setting the field that i'm supposed to respond by how you're setting the field for me on this because no, i'm just asking a, lot a very of genuine question no, I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not i see the question anyway. you're making but it, it's a question that you're basically setting like this is basically if you if i say no to that that it's because the way you worded it how you built up to that and this just in this moment of when okay. you pause after you responded because and when you said that there's a lot of your bias that you were putting in that because at the end of the day like it's it was a very harmful terminally online thing for the people that reacted negatively after they got educated and entitled do you think gonna, that every person that. do you think that every person who responded to it's anybody. like white fragility like when we sat there well, and we uh, explain and your response is to still say i don't care my I just feel like you're being more. I feel like you're being very broad. Like, okay, here's the problem that I'm having. I think I'm very problem, clear in Canada. The problem I'm having it. here is that I, I feel like there's there's a sort of we have a fluctuating focus. There's a statement. I'll say of, this, so let me alarm it'll agree me on on agree, agree, agree with me on this. I'll say that hundred percent because she's she like I said, like black folks, we get this. This is like a very given. That's what it's like. This was a very terminally online thing, a moment. That should have never had gotten even to the point that it did. It should have. I mean, never, I agree. I, uh, my my so like video said, on it was we, that we I felt offered... like I felt like there's a time and a place, and that when we're thinking about when we're dealing with tragedies, that like we should be strategic to a certain degree. I don't degree. think black people were mad to, uh, were bad for educating folks on the importance. I mean, I never why, said that, so I didn't say that at all. Why why they can use this? Because that's like the point. Because that's that's what happened. That's what black people did. They educated. And it's the way Do you think every single it. I mean, let's be honest here. Do you think they responded every single with the straw black man, person, because when they do you think every single black person uh, educated and that, every that single? there was nobody who was every like single. none of there was no there was no 
Twitter that's like fights you, wait, happening. Wait, wait. There was none of that. Because, like, that's I mean, like, to me, I look at this whole like, thing, this whole situation to me, and what I that's see. That's like similar to you saying, if, if I can say, if every Asian American person agrees with affirmative action, and there's going to be Asian, the, a small, tiny yeah. portion. That well, was I know, but, but I'm not the one who's. I'm the, I, I, in this conversation, I have not invoked because any. Like, I have not invoked any group monolithically. I have basically. No, well, I have basically. No, I'm, I just want to be clear. Every. You literally said every though, because you that, because that... because you're saying that like because okay this is what I'm talking about with the 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 vagueness and the specificity is sometimes going I'm back and clear. forth. Here. I'm very clear though. I don't think I'm vague because this is a very common sense thing within the black community as far as how we feel about say our name. So like I said, like I don't. I think this is the last time I'll say this because I think we can move on to another topic because you're you're not going to get me to concede on this as a black person that okay. brought it to regular black people outside of Twitter that don't even use no Twitter that over here with kids and stuff okay. that just check their, their their Instagram like is basically their Facebook. But sure. We all saw the entitlement, and which is traits of a colonized menta colonizer mentality when we educate you about it and you and folks first thing is to go use a straw man on well my cause matters more or you go pull up that indigenous folks use it as a straw man to go shoehorn yourself into using it no, that, no, no right no, no, there because no. that's what people were doing I, that's I exactly think that's a very bad i'm sorry i gotta stop right there i think that's a very bad faith interpretation of what i said i think um, it's bad what i said is that, that that's what, what i happened. said what, excuse what me happened. excuse me excuse me i gotta i gotta be able to say my piece on this particular part but on this particular issue what i was saying is that from my perspective i would never have called it co-opting if black women started using a, a three word hashtag that also happened to be previously used by, uh, you know, missing indigenous women, which it is, and it is, you can verify this. It's just a matter of fact. I did use was. the example of me too, so, that like it started off with someone black, but no one's going to sit here and be mad sure, that non-black people used it. So, but but you that's can, what I you said, that surely... me too, and say your name are not to the same thing. So you can't, that's because your example is equivalent to me too. When it's comes to say think, her name, is that? I don't. I don't think so. I'm literally that's, that's, using that's, the say her name, and I'm saying that like missing, uh, uh, missing and murdered indigenous women is a movement that used that hashtag by chance or by inspiration. I don't know. Like it's hard to track the inspiration of a hashtag or of a phrase. You'll or have a chance. to give me numbers unto the degree of the amount because you said like that, about that's the what numbers I'm saying. Though, black... but but the numbers. No, no. Now I'm, you want numbers? But not, I just no. Uh... I'm using the same example of how. So you're asking for numbers on how many black people agree on the common sense thing. No, of the I'm just saying. But, that we, but I, I, I ask you numbers we can for how many indigenous it... people actually use say your name to the degree that it could be used as an argument against black people that are saying please respect us on this boundary that we're setting here are literally hashtags that you can use for hashtag her name is brianna and these other things that we did offer and folks said no they were entitled to it so that's exactly why we use that language of colonists I, I think all of this there's is kind no of way getting aside around from that. the point of what i was and saying I think which is that like, to just i to would never that. i would never Oops. call it cololizer behavior or I would you never say that it was to. colonization. And you're not black, so you but, but don't. But I don't have think to. you would this agree is how with that black either. People move. Well, I just don't think you would. I don't think you would call black women colonizers for using a hashtag that was initially used. Say her name, which was initially used by murdered and missing indigenous women. What I'm saying is, I don't think this is. But how, we're not. We have. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, what I'm trying to say is, I don't there. think. I don't think that these hash that that's exactly how hashtags work, and because of that, because nobody can actually own a hashtag. You or I right now, you could I don't go on, think black people you, wait, have on, to go on, copyright hold, a hashtag. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not saying you got to. In fact, that's the opposite. I'm saying the opposite of that. You could right now go tweet anything you want. You could literally type anything you want with the sh with a hashtag of any type. You could take say her name, you could take me too, you could take any hashtag. That's just how hashtags work. They are tags that you can yeah, tag anything. And so as a result, no one's going to use Black Lives Matter for a non-black cause. And that's equivalent to what Say Your Name is because it was exactly directly to the Black Lives Matter movement that it wasn't inclusive to black and femme trans women. So that's exactly why we are very protective of it because it's essentially the 
a femme version of Black Lives Matter because of uh, because that's they're not using his name is they're not doing that literally so that's why we're very well, i mean i have seen him. like say say his name used um multiple times i mean i i've seen that around even on even in posters and stickers that have been put up but around even town. With, with that that conversation that's like a co-op of say her name so because say her name all exists ex because of black lives matter was not inclusive to us and this is that's already a conversation that black folks had years ago so this is the hmm. other thing so it's like the our, what black people were saying like if and me too and other folks like White folks would know this is for exclusively for black folks if they paid attention when people were using it for Breonna Taylor. And so even just 2020, that's like the most recent time that collectively it showed it showed us that they weren't paying attention. That if do they were feel, saying it, they weren't really taking that do, in and really understanding that, you know, this is an exclusive this is a movement that we've created because of our own lack of representation. And if people don't respect that, that is some colonizer behavior. And there's no getting around that for at least black folks. How That's how black mm -hmm. folks feel. And that's, we have every right to feel that way. And we're not trying to be palatable for non-black folks. To, they could feel however they want to feel. But at the end of the day, when we took the time, after we educated and folks dug their heels in, that's on them, on how they feel. Because we don't care how anyone feels when it comes to, after we took the time to let them know, like, hey, like, I get it, but that's that. You please this is, not this... to and and use these instead. We give the we let them give you option, and you just you snap you smack it down. You're like no. So at the end I of mean, the day, I mean now like, you're saying I, we were you. Loud and clear. Now you're saying you. Do you? This is this is one of the things that I get. I get. I just I this don't is, understand. No, this is, wasn't a me thing. This was a collective thing because like Black Twitter got involved in this. This wasn't just like a leftist based thing. Like this. Oh, uh, into, I mean, because like, I'm not gonna lie. That was, I it was it was trending. Like orgs were using it. Like this got outside of just any insular like leftist space. Like orgs had to apologize. Or using uh, when and you say in orgs, I know what you're talking people... about. It was actually it was it was one small protest group in in the UK that did do an apology. But I mean, when we're talking orgs that apologized, this was a small org that I did the apology. I think you're splitting hairs. Well, I no, see, that's that's what I made I'm... myself clear. What? I, myself I don't know what you mean clear. by that. Um, I mean, okay. I'm just to try to express the perspective of black folks and how we feel. I about hear what you're saying. What I'm trying to say I'm just is, don't you think? I shared things to Instagram and just regular day black folks that don't know nothing about no bread tube, don't know nothing about no debate pros, that know nothing about even the how Twitter spaces go. Some of them don't even engage ever with black Twitter. Mm -hmm. So, like well, I said, like. I mean, I don't know. I didn't say anything about any of that. So, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think what... we're going in circles on this. We are going in circles think, a little bit. The, like point I is, said, like... the point is, what I'm trying to say here is I think that there is a, uh, especially, I mean, we're, we can go back onto the topic of, of quote unquote bread tube, of quote unquote video SAS, these consumer groups, which is what they are. They are consumer created categories that people can sort of pitch their content to. And sometimes they'll be accepted and sometimes they won't. Um, and, uh, you know, nobody really knows who actually belongs in BreadTube and who doesn't because it's created by viewers. Viewers decide who they call BreadTube. Nobody actually. But uh, on, on, on all of these groups and, and in these sort of broad spaces that we exist in, I think that there is a, uh, an active tendency. And I think that this is on a lot of sides um, uh, to... Uh, to uh, overstate harm, to uh, pick issues that are uh, that are one, you know, they might have there might be some sort of nugget of of truth or analysis that's there, but then turn it into like a major social, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Schism, um, or like a, a a a point there where you have to declare a side. Um, and I think a lot of it is kind of unproductive. And I, I, I we, we kind of got off on a tangent on this particular topic because I was asking, you know, your opinion and, and trying to share some of mine as far as the way I look at it. And um, I don't know. I, I, when I see a lot of people claiming that they care, maybe it's just the whole space is just shot. Maybe all of this just doesn't matter, and this conversation doesn't matter, and none of the videos we've been talking about matter, and your videos don't matter, and my videos don't matter. 
that's also a possibility. I'm totally open to that. I mean, I, I, you know, am very honest with my audience and tell people I'm an entertainer at the end of the day. I've never been anything other than that. I've never represented myself as some kind of, you know, political thought leader or activist or whatever. But um, I do, I guess I just feel like a lot of times there is a weaponization of serious topics or topics that are serious at their core and they turn into like really hurtful uh, interpersonal fights that just make everybody miserable and everybody bored too. That's the worst, that's like almost the worst part is that everybody in here is a streamer and a YouTuber. We're all entertainers at the end of the day, no matter how you know much we self-delude about it, which I don't, uh, maybe other people do. I know there are a lot of people who try to sell themselves uh, as, as you know, saviors or as a movement leader or something when ultimately you're making YouTube videos at the end of the day. And that, I think YouTube videos are cool, but they are YouTube videos. And I guess there's just a lot of, it seems like there's a lot of fucking, uh, there's a lot of, uh, of, of hyperbole. There's a lot of st uh, statements of harm that I don't feel are often backed up with evidence. And I just, I, wor I worry about that. You know what I mean? because I feel like it makes the space miserable and it actually defeats our ability to do cool stuff. It, it floods the space with uh, people slandering each other in games of telephone instead of like actually cool and interesting things. Does that make sense? That was, I can like, agree with the, the kind of broader point. Thing. And even just when it hits Twitter, like the way when it hits Twitter, the Discord hits Twitter, it definitely gets, that's when it really becomes unproductive. I can say that. Like when it hits Twitter, the type of like, on both sides, how takes can can get where it, where it can potentially get and has gotten, um, and not everyone obviously that are engaging on the Twitter discourse, but there's there's spaces where, you know, even if whatever the intention was for the videos, the cause was lost. Like even for example, my video, uh -huh. I never wanted the type of like the way how on both sides escalated and did the most on both sides and it just a whole discussion on the my video got overshadowed by all these entities that were turning up the the volume on things on twitter again this is twitter mm -hmm. like the what it, it it became its life of its own once it hit twitter yeah and i mean i think I, now there's like i also... was just some yeah there's I'm like sorry, there's, there's also uh oh sorry go ahead sorry I wasn't trying to cut you off. Um, right yeah, um, I as a small creator at that moment, I had like no control over how that was going to Because there was even days where when I'll see them having a discussion about this user discourse and I was able to like, oh, you're talking about me just without not saying me. And like, well, this has become a, a thing of its own. Like, and that shocked me. Like, I never anticipated to even get more than at the time what my usual views were were just like about like 10k because like my most viewed thing video was my transphobia and trans massage nor video that's what i was like hmm. i got discovered off of that video so like i i was very sh i i was not prepared for how that went down like i had no idea like i remember like when i had the call with like who's now my editor um about like saying like oh like you'll think like the people from the states will find it in like three months they're like oh no honey they probably already found it and i'm like no like you're, you're joking like nah like maybe in a couple weeks but within two hours after that call when i went to like a housewarming party i was wondering why my phone was blowing up and that's when i saw the 15 second clip circulate and from that point like I lost all agency of like how that was like mm -hmm. running and some people were taking it really far. Like there was like an account that was like, just like being just very, what's the word? Um, casual uh, with just like wishing, not what was like wishing, but just like being careless and not caring of like, I think it's essentially, like I would say people, much. people definitely I would say get like equivalent. cavalier with that. Yeah. Like, yeah, people, cavalier. People that's get, the word yeah. I was thinking of. Cavalier is that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. They'll cavalier, throw around. I mean, they'll throw around pedophilia allegations. They'll throw around, you know, hope you die. That kind of shit. That's really fucking hurtful. That, yeah. In my I opinion, that, goes like, way above, like way above yeah, and beyond, and, you know? And I've seen that today on Twitter and I'm seeing people defend that just because it's Keffels and I'm cringing. Like you guys are 
goofy. Like, all you guys that are liking this and we're tommying and, like, you guys look silly. Like, you're not going to find me ever liking anything like that on my Twitter. You'll never, because that's, like, I cringe at that. And it's just, like, they don't even see... But they're so caught up in the personality, so I don't even see how optically wrong that is. So I can agree with you on things like this. I do, I, I do see where you're coming from, and I do agree because uh, on a lot of it, uh, I want to say all of it is that. But I do, I do see that side, and that side, I, I like. I won't lie. Like I'll get people like, they'll they'll cluster it up to our videos and the discourse on that, and usually like those people end up running and controlling the discourse because like it, they're part of the people that make it its own life a life of its own because that's what wow. happened with my own with the way things would happen in chart because i like i said like people was talking to me like as like because people like you were wishing the death on vosh is like i i wasn't replying to like vosh had left a comment and then the next day came back and left another comment and i didn't reply to either one and i didn't block him and he's still not blocked but um so i I, I I didn't engage, but I'm saying like both sides was doing the most, and this is me as someone that saw it go down. Like so, I I see what you mean because that's from my own situation. I can literally use an example. So like I I 100 get what you're saying. Um, I don't I didn't see everyone did, but there was a lot of people that was doing stuff. But just like right now, there's a lot of people that are becoming very unproductive on both sides with how it's just like it's gone. Um, it's really just boiled down to personalities and just even the original some of the original critiques like the source of where the conflict that people have is like lost because now it's just like tweeting screenshots of folks back and forth at this point yeah i mean so uh, not to not to like you know try and close this out or anything but it is i am pushing seven hours on my stream i just wanted to say do you do you think you would agree with me with this i'm going to make a statement i want to see if you agree with it do you think that this space could seriously benefit from people taking it down a few notches and from being willing to like tell one another to like hey like especially friends to be like hey like tone it down a little bit like because i think that would be i think that would make these spaces actually start to resemble spaces. I think that we could actually start to have some community, actual forms of community where people are making stuff together and not just fucking firing back and forth at each other all the time. But I think that's gonna require people being willing to sort of forego the drama bucks or forego these sort of tempting easy clicks. Like, I mean, I've done that in my content. I know. Honestly, I agree with you yeah. wholeheartedly. Like, I wanted my video to be the last one discussing this. Like, I was hoping the way I structured my video as a purging thing, I wanted it to be a purging for the space. Like, my, like, the way I laid it out to be just the it, it all. Yeah. So, like, that's, that's always been my stance. Like, I, I went into making my video as it, I, I don't, especially I, as far as on my side, as far as like my, the space that I operate that to be the last, I don't, I didn't, I didn't feel like there was anything else I needed to be chimed in on. Um, yeah. so like I, I, I would, if I would rat, cause I always say like this, like, um, I was not advised to even make the video, but I, by multiple creators in my yeah. own space. But I, like I said, like, this was like a personal purging for me that I felt the need to get out. Yeah. And, but yeah, obviously so like you never no no, no content creator ever gets to have the final say on anything something i have learned myself you no, none of us no matter how big our egos get uh ever get should ever fool ourselves with the idea that you get to have the last word on anything because that's not how it works you put out a video course, it's always going to be comments it's always going to be reply videos it's gonna it's you know so yeah i mean Again, I yeah, just, I agree with you. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I there's some there would be a lot of benefit if people would uh would stop it with the fucking baseless allegations, stop it with the <laughs> you know uh, uh, overstating of harm, stop it with the um, exaggerations. Um, these are all things like that that pissed me off i mean again you quoted me talking about something i was frustrated about which was the way that some people were um in my opinion misrepresenting and exaggerating what actually went down in the cat black situation between cat black and vosh which that whole thing i thought was a phenomenally stupid fight um but i also understand why every why both cat black and vosh found themselves uh, feeling defensive and hurt. I, I can, I was able to, I walked, I went over that whole thing on stream. Um, 
So you know my opinion on that. I, I fucking hate this shit. But I also think it's a problem, and I don't think it's just people in the... I don't think it's just, like, your, like viewers, you know? Viewers are bad at it. I mean, but also, like, no offense to all of you in chat. Love you all, but chatters are fucking stupid, okay? Everybody's chatters are fucking stupid. That's just how the chats work. There are big masses of people just typing shit on a moment's notice. People who don't have any, uh, who don't have any, um, you know, they don't got any stakes. There's not, the, you know, we put our faces to all of this stuff. We put our names to these things. Uh, chatters don't. But it's not just chatters. There's video makers. I mean, I, I feel like the video I reacted to today did a whole lot of what, I, what we've been talking about. And uh, I feel like it's a, it does a disservice to the actual topics. But more than that, it does a disservice to the space. And it, it, it does generate clicks. It's true. It can make you a, a quick buck. Um, you know, Foreign Man's video got a lot of clicks. Uh, it definitely did. But th those clicks don't last. And the cost is what? What we're talking about now, this never-ending gnashing of teeth, this, like, cycle of people lying about each other, right? I don't know. Definitely, definitely what you, like, where you ended off. Yeah, it, it has begun on, like, on both sides like just it, it doesn't it didn't need to get up to this point it really didn't have to be this twitter war that's something i really want to say that like on my own side i think so, like you have your opinion on certain things about the video and you have every right i will i'm not gonna ever police you on that i'm not gonna like i'm not gonna argue or debate you or anything on your i appreciate opinion. that i um, allow like that's where i'm, I'm totally gonna when i see it, that but... that's where that's where i stand like i'm i'm not gonna like you have every right to flow you feel and share your audience like how you feel about things but uh as far as but the end result of things we can both agree i don't i don't i don't like like how things are being drawn out something that could have just ended maybe two days of twitter why why yeah. are we going on day four why are yeah. we going on day four like this is that that's where it's just like on both sides like hey like this because both people engage because everyone got each other blocked so people are snooping on each other that are blocked and just sharing each other screenshots like y'all stop engaging like stop like i i see stuff about said about me all day i'm not after uh, i said i was welcome done, to I'm being a back. welcome to being a creator in the space that's like this you know that's part of the problem i mean that's part of the reason <laughs> yeah, why yeah. i get so fucking mad the reason why i got so fucking mad at this video is because i mean i'm just like i look at this shit and i'm just like man this is what makes these spaces, this is the type of behavior that makes these spaces so miserable. And uh, I've seen it be different. You know, I was making content before most of these rifts existed and it's a bad, it's in a bad place, but it's gotta start, you know, it, at the end of the day, it comes down to us. And I know that I'm like a, a you know, a, a larger creator overall than you. So I'm not trying to like put undue burden on you or anything like that. But, it, but I mean us as the creators, we are the voices in the space. And it does come down to us in a lot of ways, you know, whether these things get perpetuated or way we whether, we, whether we just say, you know what, this isn't fucking productive. Fuck it. I mean, I've, I can tell yeah, you at this point, 100%, how many times. It, was, it wasn't productive once it was even the end of day one. It was already very clear that this wasn't, again, like, I'm seeing, I want to, I want to say this before I go also, like, sure. Um, I, I think it's personally wrong to try to make think like people could hold couples accountable like that's something like no one has the power really truly to do and folks like running to try to like do that it's just like one i personally feel like you're wasting your time but two it's just like that shouldn't even be your goal like you can have your criticisms but the after you say your piece people like trying to just like now that, that so that's like at least i can like if i'm being good faith like that's something that i feel like, because this is, isn't, like, again, these are just, like, things that are happening within, like, uh, online, like, and again, I, like I said, I have my own criticisms about the divisiveness, but, like, sure. you know, I, I kept it that end, and I'm not over here tweeting at Keffels after I make my video how I feel, like, no, like, I, I made my critique, and I moved on, but there's people that they don't stop at critique, and they're thinking they have this power to hold folks accountable, and this is, like, and they're, on both sides and uh, this is this is why things are drawn out for days 
on some things that just like I just feel like it doesn't need to get to this place. And honestly, that's why we're and we're probably gonna go on a day five. And I don't I mean, know how uh, long this is gonna last. I mean, people are like, people are pointing out in chat you did a you did put a comment on Keffel's video that I would consider kind of mean. But, I know uh, that what was like I a day ago, what or what, right? Yeah, but I, I mean, come on, I, right? Like I, that's I that's that's it. the engaging, right? Look, like, it falls down to us no, to choose not, not to not engage, about... or, or how we choose to that's... engage, right? Right? I'm, right? I was very intentional with that. I, I'm over. I'm standing with what I said. When you when you said when you said on her video, and I deleted it, and I deleted huh? it to you, and oh, not because I don't stand with it. I deleted it because I saw that it was pinned, and I took it as you felt like that was a like unproductive or whatever, right? I, I no, it's not about that. That's huh. not because I, I like I said I stand with it. It's that I knew it just stir engagement of a bunch of comments. So I just removed it for just the engagement factor. It was just very simple. Just like oh, okay. I saw the email and I just removed it when I was like I didn't even realize it was pinned until I saw my email. So huh. like I said, like I stand with that, and you can look at my tweets. You stand I've been by the by hashtag, the white by the white white woman white woman tears. tears if that's what you mm. are you referring to. Yeah, that's to. the one. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, I it's just it. I mean for. I stand with it. Yeah, all right. I'm saying I stand with it, so like, all right, I'm yeah. not running. I just, I, to me, to me, that feels like the opposite of. But again, we didn't have this conversation yesterday, so hopefully tomorrow it will. You know, no, maybe I'm, maybe this conversation will in, will encourage. Uh, this is literally like my last know. like talking about it publicly. Anything like this was like kind of like hey, like if I'm gonna have anyone that I'm gonna talk about this with when I when I was I didn't I didn't expect you to even want to talk. So oh, this is oh. like pretty I'm much. I'm usually like, my very open to it, on. you know. Um. Yeah. Yeah, so like I like I made a tweet already like this morning not, yesterday that I like I'm setting the boundary like don't talk about uh Keffels to me. I didn't put her name, but uh and just like I'm over it and I'm gonna move on from it, like stop engage. Like I'm, I'm just I gonna, definitely like, think that's my, a good idea. Like Like I it's like I'm gonna make my videos and stream and just like leave it leave it at that. I'm leaving at that. So um folks that have been, that kept like engaging and tagging me to things they got blocked and there's still more people out the block because i just don't respect that boundary yeah but um oh, yeah people, so people like but like i'm saying like i stand boundaries with, on twitter but everything that like i said led up to that me setting that boundary i stand with so like i just want to make that show because I'm, I'm not here to like litigate what i said i i stand with it yeah. and i explain my own reasons and you know folks who who I, I, I know I know what I, I I was very clear with myself and sure you know there was I guess, a back and again forth. my my whole purpose in all of this the only reason I even talked about this drama at all uh, uh, is is because I just was making oh, like, myself I'm, clear that like there's nothing yeah. I'm backing down on or running from and that's all this is I'm not well, even trying to like lay them out just I'm so just, you like, know it's okay to fucking back down on stuff sometimes and in fact like i mean god yeah. i had to learn that hardcore okay like it's it's okay as a content creator you never want to fall into the trap of of thinking you never back down cuz sometimes you're just well, wrong of course. or sometimes no, you I've say something that's across the line i mean i once called a well, fucking well i'm at a point where i'm not even engaging where like i'm not going to respond i know where i stand and there's no reason else to say anything else or no video no back and forth like yeah you know, I just you do. You just there's, it's not productive at that point. So that's where that's that's basically what that is for me right now. So I know what you're saying. Yeah. But like, there's the same breath of this is a very simple decision that I made, and I know like the folks that I'm in community with know where I'm coming from and they agree with yeah. me. And this well, isn't about like. But yeah. Anyways, yeah. that's the follow. Like, I I'm... my hope in all of this is is I mean again there's a lot of people who don't like me and part of the sometimes uh, I know that part of the reason that people don't like me is because it's just a simple fact some people really hate uh, uh like anybody they know they some people look for a yes men you know and they look for uh they look for you know somebody who's gonna always agree with them and there's a lot of people who know that I don't do that especially knowing that I'm willing to take a personal hit and call out huge content creators by comparison like Vosh. Um, some people won't associate with me because of that. But I just like to, I, I, I like to hope that there is some way that we can move past the like, these aging dramas and that we can move, that we can break some of the habits that cause these things to fester for so long. Because I really do think it's bad for the space. I think it makes it, um, 
I think it makes it miserable for creators. Creators burn out all the time. There's a lot of personal hurt. There's a lot of actual legitimate trauma that happens to creators of all kinds of stripes. I mean, God knows. I mean, I know I fucking dealt with that. Uh, and I think Keffels has. I think Vosh has. I think uh, Professor Flowers has. I think Cat Black has. I know Cat Black has. Cat Black has been creating content and dealing with fucking freaks on the internet for longer than any of us. Um, and I just think that's dreadful. And it makes for a space that's not enjoyable. It limits us. It means that it means that all of us can't. Nobody can. Can nobody's gonna come hang out in this space because they think everybody's always at each other's throats and. And especially if it's like a wolf crying situation where like if people say this, you know, really super crazy thing about somebody else or a really hyperbolic statement about somebody else and then that turns out not to be true, well, they feel burned out. They feel like they can't trust anybody. There's a, there's a, what I'm saying is there's a, 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 a severe issue of trust. There's a severe social issue in spaces that are largely full of people who call themselves lefties, call themselves pro-social. And for a, such a space that should be focused on empathy and socializing, it, it, to me it feels like there sure is a lot of uh, bad blood and hatred and toxicity and toxic habits and toxic cycles. And there's a few key behaviors, you know? Does that make sense? What I'm trying to say, what my whole point no, I, I agree with you, and I, I agree with you. Like I, I exactly, I see what you're trying to say, and it's yeah. Like I, I don't like I said. Like I don't think this should be going on a day five. This has been dragged on way longer. Yeah. Like once people say like, hey, like I'm not going to engage. I'm not going to say anyone's name anymore. I'm setting a boundary. If you don't bring her up or don't bring them up, etc. You know, yeah, it should end there. Uh, at least publicly. Like you guys can feel however you want behind the scenes with amongst your friends but just like at that point it's just like engagement on just fans that are just like on both sides that are just like keep like i said when they keep doing the screenshots passing around that's for every morning each day it's yeah. just over it's like it doesn't it doesn't need to get there and just like you know just stay blocked and just don't be like and that's kind of this where it is it, like i said like it's becomes really toxic and it doesn't huh. have to be it's, and like i said like whatever the back and forth of what it was but when you know when people are done engaging you know say your piece and don't make it like a several day thing um and this goes for everyone this goes yeah. for everyone so i set that uh, that boundary with my audience so they know how i feel well um I got to probably wrap my stream up here relatively soon. I promise that I won't go so long because I hurt myself last 10 hour stream I did. Um, but uh, here is to a less toxic future for these quote unquote spaces, whatever these disparate consumer entertainment groups are. I, I, I genuinely hope that, uh, that people can spend less time hurting each other and spend more time talking about cool and interesting and educational and entertaining things. Um, thank you for coming on. I, I appreciate uh, I appreciated talking with you about everything. Even when we disagreed, I felt like it was a very valuable conversation. I hope you feel the same. Oh yeah, I feel the same. Like you're very respectful. Like even like when you know there was some emotions on my end. Um, you it's know, understandable. I feel like nothing was. No one was. I hopefully I didn't come off disrespectful though. On there, I want to say like I don't intend that like no i don't think you did um, not not to me okay like, i think this conversation yeah, okay. has been very well i mean i um, i can't I just like just being honest with my my responses and how i feel and just like you know i'm not a, like you said you're not a yes person i'm not no, a yes not person either and certain things like i don't agree like like when it came to the one part that you know i was i st really stood on it um I can do that because that's that's where, like I said, like I, you know, it's okay to stand to, to stand with what your things, like, you know, and if, along it depends on what it is, depends on what it is. But like, you know, you don't have to like. That's just like kind of like where I'm moving as far as when it comes to like space, because also like you don't. I don't know. Like I'm just. I appreciate the conversation. I think if there's anyone that's like that's come from that space, you're like one that I, I i watch and oh, enjoy thank you. and yeah i do I, appreciate know, that i mean i yeah, i definitely uh yeah. I, i'm definitely uh i, I don't you know, know olay me uh, both watches us um, yeah, I, I, I really I, like olay i i've i've fucking yeah. loved olay's videos and i've 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 loved what what interactions we've had and uh i i i i i guess 
I've been in this space a long time, and I've always sort of found myself floating in between uh, two warring factions, or what seems like two warring factions, which never are fully, the lines around those factions never seem fully drawn, but people get brought, like pulled into them anyway. And I want it to stop, not because I don't think that people have legitimate gripes, but because uh, I think that the uh, intensity of the conflict is wasteful. Uh, nobody's fighting over food, you know? People are just fighting over Twitter ego, and uh, I think people get too hurtful. I think people get out of hand. Yeah. Anyway, um, anyway, it was it was a it was a good conversation. I really appreciate you coming on, and uh, here's to a here's to a, a better future with less toxicity. Yeah, I appreciate that. Alrighty. Good night. Good night. Soldier. All right, everybody. Oh.